Hey guys, Beth from X Force again with Scott from X Force. Today we've got one of the, I won't say the first, because somebody's going to jump on us about that, but one of the first of their kind landing in Australia, and this is the gas blowback rifle, GBBR. Um, this particular one is done by um, Golden. Golden Eagle and i've got a couple other variants which we'll do after but this is a rather interesting one and i know some guys absolutely love them and that is the daniel defense mk18 version yeah it was tough to get out of here let's pack it up properly yeah so that's it there um, and let's get that mag so first first um, typical sort of MK18 yeah. um, handguard the things that really make an MK18 and MK18 I guess it's the handguard a few things are a little bit different so your typical Daniel defense has a different stock yeah yeah and a different grip <laughs> uh, but you know we won't hold it this is you know golden eagle um they you can always change your stock anyway yeah. these are simple changes so as long as the main thing my biggest uh point was when i looked at these was that they had the markings which it does and they're quite nicely etched in it lays it in um and we'll bring you a bit closer so you guys can have a look. So I thought, well, as long as it's got that, and that looks pretty sweet, I'm happy with that. From there on, we can do anything else other cosmetically to it, stocks, grips, whatever, that's easy. Um, but now, the cool thing is gas blowback. So let's come back to this. Aesthetically, eh, same, same. AG, gas, you know. Handguard stock big deal But when we go internally for this puppy it's a whole lot of different so With gas blowback. I know a lot of guys have been oh gas blowback gas blowback real excited, right? Eh? Yeah um, I've been kind of sitting on the fence on this one because to me Gas blowback just means be more realistic when you shoot it so you get the recoil a little bit and the blowback um, but at the same time, the negatives, you got to keep, re you know, refilling gas, small... Uh, More realistic mag sizing. That means about 30 rounds instead of 200. Um, so, as a normal player, bloke that comes <laughs> into the shop and says, I just want to blast it, I just want to go and play a little bit, have a bit of fun. Would this be... An ideal blaster? No. Yeah, you know, me. I 
probably wouldn't need it because I just want to get there and just spray and pray and be all silly and stuff. Um, but for the hardcore guy that wants to feel uh, like he's, you know, an operator, truly operator, <laughs> um, or for the guy that's, you know, ex military and, you know, has all that training, these are like mm. the closest you're going to get to the real deal uh, in yeah. our. Using them as a, um, a training aid or movie prop, or that. Um, they're great for that as well. I mean, I'm just talking to players now. I was. Yeah. We're gonna step into I that side. I incorporate everything. That's why you got me here, damn it. Yes. Yeah. Um, so, <laughs> yeah, for the players, I'm just talking to players for now. Yeah. This is gonna be for the for the hardcore guys, for More the guys enthusiast. that for the enthusiasts, the guys that really want that. Yeah. You know, true sort of feel, the real deal, the real steel feel. Um, but you know, then we're going into the props. Mm. Yeah. movies training like these yeah. things have a whole world of other um, operational opportunities afp counterism uh, terrorism squads are still using the ddm k18s that's right so we have uh, i had one of our customers hit me up about this a while back oh if i ever get it and i'm like oh dude this is a long way away at the time here we are you know um so this is pretty cool that we get to kind of have this yeah. sort of stuff as well. It just gives everyone a variety. I know not every, you know, there's the HPA guys out there. Mm. Nah, nah, HPA is the best. AEG guys, nah, we're good. AEG is still good. That's the most popular. That's the, the good part about this industry and this hobby is there's such a variance. Mm. You can go skeletonized, uh, bright, wacky colors, or you know, you're more realistic. Yeah. You know, Milton. SOCOM spec uh, blasters. It's you make the the hobby what you want, and you know, enough room for people to not be toxic and actually get out there and let people make what they want. That's right. So you see people doing what they want, let them dance, let them do their own thing. Yeah, we're just here to help you guys get spend your money. That. <laughs> <laughs> it's you know. Um, you know, make your dream guns. That's it, man. We're just trying to bring you guys what is options. Yeah, you know, plenty of options. So everybody asks. That front one's a bit easier. This back one's a bit more stiff. But um, yeah, so plenty of options here, and this is definitely that next, I guess, the next evolution in the gel ball yeah. community. Um, is you know the gas i mean the gas in the pistols was a huge jump i mean it revolutionized pistols forever for for the gel ball community yeah. um you know when magfed came in you know i was i was around before the magfed stuff i was like oh yeah. i wish we had magfed was bang we had fed? magfed i'm like wow this is so cool yeah. magfed gel blast are so realistic now we've you know we're literally a step away from well, I don't know, Realistic, as realistic get. Yeah, either we're still shooting gels, but that's yeah. beyond the point. Um, so this is really cool. Um, Operational-wise, it you know you've got to do certain things that are um, a little bit different to your standard AG, and I'm still kind of a little bit unsure. I haven't played around with this thing at all. Mm. The techs were playing around with it, and they know more about it, um, but. I just know you, yeah. You know, pull that. I think that that's already been pulled in there. Uh, but yeah, I'm still. There's certain things you got to do before you do something. It's a proper manual of arms, same as real ones. Mm. Uh, the cool part about this is it's ambidextrous, fire select, and mag release. Indeed. Um, I was kind of playing around with that just before, sort of. If I select, say, if you're a lefty. Yeah, I know there was. I was actually talking to a guy the other day, and he's like, he's a lefty, and he's changed his firearm and that, that, to him. I'm like, what? Can you swap it? Can't you just swap it? <laughs> but I guess no. It depends on certain things where you fire yeah. select and things like that, mag release, and so on. So with this, you actually, yeah, you can release with your if you're if you're holding it with your left, 
you can fire select, you can, yeah, it's pretty cool. Which is great for that, that training aid purposes. Mm. If you need to use it for a realistic purpose, you can actually train how you actually operate. Now I know some guys might be uh, laughing about this, so the little stringy. Um, this is a really cool, cool idea. And I thought at first, I'm like, what, uh, it's got a little string. So you pull the string, that, pull, that basically pulls the spring down, and then you literally got that, fill, uh, that hole to fill through. So um, now this makes it really easy, because... Save your breaking mag doors for sure. Yeah, getting, well, not even that, but even in your pistol. I know when you're trying, I'm trying to pull the spring yeah. down, and sometimes I keep losing it, it pops back up. I'm yeah. sitting there about three, four times trying to get the spring down. This way, bang, done. Do it in gloves too, which is yeah. handy. It's, it's quick, it's easy, so if you're sitting there, bang, you got your mag, feel it, off you go, you know? Yeah. Um, so that was a really, really cool sort of idea, and it's probably, yeah, it is a little bit. Haters are gonna hate, but yeah. the fact of I, you know, I'll be picking up that one. I will chuck a DD stock on it, but if I'm running my ironclad gloves, I can actually load my damn mag. I don't have to take glove off to flip, you know, lift out a door. So, and mags are quite um, sturdy. sturdy, not rattling in there. Um, you've got your flip up sides, your own sides. Yeah. Um, oh, is that a float? Yeah. floating barrel? Yep. Yep. You know, I love to look right down the barrel. Yeah. <laughs> um, but the thing is, I got told, and it is down there, and I can't get to it unless it takes it apart. Unless I think I got to take that uh, the flash hider. flash hider off. But it's supposed to have a, a, a hopper. Um, I'm not sure if it's adjustable i haven't been able to uh, get the guys to look into that yet. we just got them the other day so we're still yep. a bit fresh on this is my first time getting hands on yeah so so uh your typical crane stock uh adjustable um now it does have there's bigger spring in here so you got your recoil so this has proper like recoil like your you know your real ones um, so don't be taking that off, try to put a battery in there because it's not going to yeah. happen. Um, no, what do I want to do? <laughs> um, and of course your, your mag, you fill your gas through the back of it right there. And so what we, we've tested, we found that the bolt in this being such a big unit, it's quite heavy. Try and use a 14 uh, kilogram gas. Um, in really hot days, you can go down to a 12, yeah. well, especially now in summer. Uh, so you need to understand, guys, with the gas, there's your 10 kilo, 12 kilo, 14 kilo. Uh, the higher you go, the, the more powerful it is. But that doesn't always mean better in all circumstances. They're made for colder weather and to actually... Um, be able to use heavier like for example a pistol like a especially a, a high capper with a really heavy slide yeah. will require a higher kilogram gas to to actually push it through comparatives like your action army aap ones which are super light mm. so you don't need a, a no. bigger gas so do not use that with those pistols the aap01 mm. you'll damage it uh, nice and light, it's energy efficient. Might, it's might not even work sometimes, but it could damage it. Go to a 10 kilo. The heavy stuff like this is going to requ require a 14 to actually, if you're going to use something that's going to be too light, you might find, oh, it's not working too well because I don't know, it's probably the way I'm thinking is like trying to pull a caravan with a four cylinder, you know, yeah. uh, it's just not going to work. Energy efficiency, it's the right fuel for the right purpose. That's right. So, We've got the Warwolf cans. These are bigger than your typical cans. So these retail around $60, but they're close to, uh, what's that? 1.68 um, uh, liters. So your, your typical cans it's are, double. yeah, it's more than double. Your typical ones that we sell, like your Abbey Predator, they're only about 700. Yeah. Um, this is 
1680. Just so, think double the amount for one and a half times yeah. cost. So. so, and these these work quite well. Um, all right, so um, getting back to this, I'm not going to go much into internals. There's really not that much. There's a bolt, there's whatever. Um, I don't know that much about it. Um, I'm just going to add the fact that this is quite a weighty sort of blaster, being this is full metal internally. The only thing that's not metal on this is your stock and your grip. Um, the other thing you need to remember with gas is that if you get these and you go full auto on this, it freezes up the mag. Yeah. So this is not the sort of blaster, gun, whatever you want to call it, um, that you grab and you sit there and you unload. Well, you don't have many rounds in it either. So no. <laughs> treat it like, you know, I guess for gameplay, so it's great for the mill simmers and stuff is mm. 30 rounds, semi. Yeah. Um, most gas efficient as well. Indeed. Um, but, you know, the guys that are going to, there are cheaper variants of the gas M4s. This is for those guys that want to have a, something that's a little bit more collectible. The Daniel Defense. So, well, there's some by so common stuff. So, if you're mm. a, a Grand Thumb or a Sean Ryan fan, you can actually do like those classic builds. So, so yeah, this is. This was a military used firearm, so I mean it's, you know, for those guys that follow that and or a bit more hardcore into that sort of stuff, then cool. Me, ah, I could grab any of them and just go and play. Um, but, you know, I do like the, the Daniel Defense uh, stuff and it's a great platform. The, the cool thing about it, it makes for, you can go into uh, more CQB sort of environment with this or more outdoor doesn't you know, really... retail space to chuck on pack box mm. optics grips flashlights lots of Picatinny re uh, yeah. real estate there so really cool again like I said being gas it's just that little bit different uh, I'm not sure at this point you will have to do a little bit more maintenance than your standard um, AEG, so your electric, um, but all in all, uh, this will give you a really cool sort of feel when you do shoot it. Treat like a big gas pistol, really, is what he's saying is keep your oil up, don't store it in a stupidly hot area. Mm. So, treat with respect, always have a bit of gas in your mags. Yep. So, look after the, the O rings and the seals. If you look after them, they'll last a long time. You know, we get guys coming in here, oh, this thing's not working, man, things dried up or they're gone and, you know, it's all fine. You know, I don't care if you go and buy propane and stick that in there because it's so much cheaper and you don't want to spend it on a proper gas. But just remember, guys, propane is dry. That'll, that'll dry up all your seals. So if you're going to use that, make sure you do lube it up a little bit before you put it in. Otherwise, you'll be back here and um, we're going to charge it to fix it. Well, mags aren't the cheapest either. Oh, so it's... These things are definitely not cheap. <laughs> it's about double, double the price of a normal mag. Mm, but you get right. double the capacity as well. So yeah. if people want to have a, a bitch in the mind going, oh, but it's, what, one... I think they're 170. One, so, so yeah, 170. If normal uh, pistol is 80, 85, mm. you can just have a double that, but you can double the capacity. Mm. So 30 instead of 12, so they're nice. Um, you having fun? I'm having lots of fun. Break <laughs> um, my train of thought. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, definitely look after it. The same thing is, as much as you're looking after that, make sure it's bagged, good eyewear, they hit nice and hard. So yep. uh, when you go to games as well, don't leave gas uh, in car because stuff goes bang. So even like the, the wolf stuff says, you know, it has a warning for temperature. So don't go, hey, I'm gonna go out and just leave your, your mags in a hot car or your gas in a hot car. Because if they go pop, I'm keeping on talking. I'm waiting for you to go now. <laughs> I'm gonna bring you guys um, closer to Waffling, just yeah, take care of it.
take care of it and uh, make sure, yeah, do the right thing. The markings on these are really, really nice. Mm. Look at that. That is really cool. It's a slim handle as well, so while there have been many MK18s on the market before, it is actually a really nice... No motor. <laughs> a nice and tidy um, grip, so smaller hands, it won't be as much of an issue. Mm -hmm. It actually makes it feel a bit nicer weighted as well. Yeah, look at the markings on top. Yeah, man. The machining's nice. I actually feel it along here. So if you run a bare grip, mm. um, you'll know about it. You'll know about it. Um, I'll use ironclad gloves for it, so I don't break my pretty hands. Yep. All right, let's go shoot this thing. Hey guys, fast back here at our range with the Golden Eagle Daniel Defense MK18G. BBR, that's a gas blowback rifle. And um, I've got it all loaded up. Got my little string hanging out. So, what I'm going to do first with this, being gas, I'd rather take a few shots through the chrono now um, so we get a decent reading. Because what happens, you run it a few times, it starts cooling down, and then your readings drop. So, I'm going to get a couple of shots through the chrono first. We've got our Ace Tech uh, Chrono here, and then I'll do a couple of shots out. Let me see if I've got that right. That's it. So I'm on semi. Holy moly. Feel a little bit of kick there. Ooh, a little bit of kick, all right. The only problem that I've got is because it's it's gas. Sometimes I spew that bit of gas and keep throwing the chrono all over the place. So I get a couple of them that are like reading where it probably should be, and then some others are yeah. I got like anywhere from 170 to 1,200. So. Really hard to get a really decent reading, um, but the ones that are more sort of closer together, sort of 290, 300, 310, 283, 288, 303. So I'm gonna go with a sort of a 300 ish, <laughs> um, only because yeah, I'm not gonna go with a with a thousand. And we know it's gonna definitely that definitely hits a lot more than 180. So, well, um, that and I was soft and left the aircon running today. Well, that too, and I left the aircon running upstairs and has cooled it down a little bit. But that being said, um, you've seen it there a little bit on um, on semi. Let's uh, rip it up all on the last few shots in full, all right? Ho, 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 ho. Oh yeah, that is us done empty. So that's pretty cool. Now I gotta say this, yeah, the blowback definitely has a kick there, and you might have seen. Um, so very different, very cool. Um, you know, I'll still run my electric, but that's just me. You need the shots, that's why. Yeah. Uh, but really cool for those guys that want realistic and get a hold of this it is just yeah next level so anyway that's it for us folks if you got any questions if you got any comments leave them down below remember stop and think these do look about as real as they get make sure you keep it safe in a bag when you're transporting to and from the field and stay safe guys um, we'll see you next time with some more goodies. Thanks for watching.